Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your week ahead. This is for the sign of Aries. So this would basically be for the first week in April. So let's see what we got for Aries. What do we have for Aries for the first week in April? What do we have for Aries the first week of April? What do we got for Aries? Conflict. Uh, moving, moving very quickly. You may be making a hasty decision to move away from some conflict. You know, I feel like you have been. Um, maybe you've been thinking about it for a while, and now you're just taking action. You know, maybe you, maybe you just have to go. Maybe you realize it's, it's, it's really time to go. It's been a challenge to move on. It has. I feel as though you have probably been in a situation where it's been a, a lose lose and you've been trying to put in effort and it's like now you you, you got to go it's like you got to make that decision you got to protect yourself you got to assert yourself I, so I feel like you are doing that you are protecting yourself Aries I think you're taking a taking a stand I think that you have made a decision and I think that you know you were unsure of your decision but I think now that you know that you can't live in this conflict anymore I feel as though in the past you've been manipulated, you've been lied to, you've been deceived, and, and you can't take it anymore. It's like you don't want to live this lie. You don't want this anymore. I think that you have been deceived and, and you can't do it. Um, you're giving up. You're giving up emotionally. I feel like you don't have any more feelings left for this situation. You may have been dealing with an individual who was emotionally cold towards you. Man or woman could have been a water sign. You were dealing with somebody who just, maybe this person didn't know how to love and now they've caused you to shut down emotionally. And that's the way it goes with this five of swords. Like they project their energy onto you. And I think you've come to the point where you just like, you know, what? I'm not going to live this lie anymore. Um, something is happening very, very fast. This is forward movement, fast movement. So I think there's a swift change coming, Aries. Um... Yeah, you guys are dropping a burden. It's too heavy. I think you've been thinking about it for quite some time. You have. You've been thinking about walking away. You've been thinking about letting it go. I feel as though at this point you don't have any energy left. There's no compromising with this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. There's no compromise, right? There's no coming together. There's nothing you can do. This person will not budge, whoever it is that you're dealing with. I think that you know... You absolutely know. I think your intuition has been telling you things. I think that you're receiving messages. You know, you're receiving messages from above. Let me put this on pause um, or mute, per se. Anyway, I feel as though you got you have you are being given the knowledge that you need to let me, help you to let go, to help you to release. I feel as though you are definitely being divinely guided, Aries, to make some sort of move, to communicate your truth, or to just move forward, okay? I feel like um, you may be even receiving a message that helps you. This message may help you to drop this burden. Maybe you're receiving uh, messages or communication from somebody, you know, that's giving you the information that you need to truly, truly walk away. Maybe it's that... Uh, that final straw, perhaps, you know, that it's finally like, you know what, it's time. It's time for me to move forward. I feel as though um, the final outcome is probably walking away. We're going to go back around again and get another card for this. But I feel like you guys are going to probably stand your ground. I think right now you're in defensive mode and you're ready. You're ready to stand up for what you need to stand up for. I feel like there's no nobody that is going to... You know, get past your barrier at this time. I think that you have made up your mind about, you know, whoever this person is that you're dealing with that doesn't have good intentions. I think that they've shut you down and now you're, it's like you're turning, you're turning the tides and now you're shutting them down. Uh, you have been divinely guided to do so. I think that you have received some messages either from within or from above that says, you know what? This is too heavy. This is too burdensome. It's time for you to bring some balance back into your life. It is time for you to um, 
drop this burden and move on. So you may be just still thinking about it this week. We're gonna go back around. We're not gonna we're not gonna um, clarify the challenge card. The challenge is is moving. It's it's it's, it's like taking action. It's like I think that you want to. You don't want to hurt anybody. You know, you don't want to hurt anybody. You realize that when you move or when you make this call or whatever it is that you do, that you may hurt other people. And I think the challenge is doing what's right for you. So that is your challenge at this time. I feel like you have been dealing with a person that is very, it's almost like narcissistic. You can't win with this person no matter what you say, no matter what you do. Okay. Yeah, you guys have been in a situation where there's no wish fulfillment, there's no abundance, there's no... You're dealing with somebody who has a very big ego, and it's just, you're not happy about it. You can't do it anymore. That's what it looks like to me. It looks to me as like, um... You've been grieving, right? You have. You've been grieving. You've been going through a lot of pain. You've been going through a lot of sorrow because you know that you have to do this. You know that you got to protect yourself, but you understand that it's going to hurt other people to do so, or it's going to hurt the person, or it's going to hurt yourself. I feel as though you guys have been holding on to a grievance for too long, and you need to realize that there's an opportunity for love if you would just look in a different direction. And I think you may realize that you know, I can't, I can't focus on this pain forever. I can't focus on this hurt forever. So I feel like you are focused on it, but presently you're getting ready to defend yourself. I think that you may have some regrets. Maybe you have some regrets over uh, everything that has happened, but you know, I'm going to get one more card here. You know it's time to take back control. You know, you know it's time to cut this cord. You know it's time to break free from this manipulation. It's like you've been manipulated. You've been lied to. You have probably been in a state of fear, you know, and, and you definitely have not wanted to hurt somebody. But I feel like now you know that it is time to break free from this lie, whatever it is, this bond. It's time to face your fears. It's time to take back control. It's time to take back your power. It's time to break free from whatever it is, this, this lose-lose situation that you've been in. And we got two, so we're going to take them both. I feel, and this is in the past, I feel like there's been no victory in success. There's been no victory in success with this manipulator that you've been with. You've been dealing with a, a very tricky, cunning individual, some a trickster, a real trickster. Rest assured that karma is going to come back around, so you don't have to worry about it. Just let it go. Karma is going to kick this person right in the ass when they least expect it. So keep that in the back of your head, all right? Karma is, it sees all. It sees all. I think whoever you're dealing with, it may have been a karmic lesson for you. It may have. It may have. Maybe you got yourself involved with a trickster. Maybe you got yourself in, involved with a manipulator, a liar, because of something you'd done in the past. You know? That's the way it goes. You know, we all learn as we grow. When we're young, we do stupid things, and it will come back to bite us later in life. So I feel like you may have gotten yourself into a karmic... Uh, situation in which it wasn't going to be victorious it wasn't going to be you know triumphant because maybe you needed to learn some sort of karmic lesson maybe i don't know i don't know either way karma sees all so whoever this person is that has been deceiving you how who you've been dealing with that um you know didn't work out who who used you or whatever rest assured that karma never loses an address so keep that in mind yeah, you're dealing with a greedy individual, somebody who is very, very greedy, somebody that may have been focused on you just for stability, for money, you know? Maybe you chose them for money. They, it wasn't about love. It was about money, okay? It was about stability. That's what it was about, and that's a serious karmic lesson, choosing choosing money over, you know, love. So, uh, you know, I don't know if that was your lesson or if that's their lesson, but we have up here, you know, holding on tightly to your money, holding on tightly to what you've had, but letting it go, it's, it's too much. It's, it's not getting you anywhere. It's caused a lot of chaos and a lot of upheaval in your life. I think presently, um, maybe you're feeling like your life has been turned upside down. You've made, made some poor decisions. I mean, the two of pentacles reversed, that is poor decisions. That is poor financial decisions, you know. So somebody has made some poor financial decisions choosing money, you know, choosing to hold on to their stability you know, and not getting the love that they deserve. So somebody has basically made a poor decision and 
now they're not getting reciprocation and love because of the decision that they made. So let's see what else we got. So in the future, there's movement. There is movement. Change is coming. Something is going to happen. Very quickly, probably. Two cards. Yep, somebody's moving on. Somebody's making the cut. Okay, somebody is deciding to go. It's like, it's time for me to transition. It's time for me to go. It's time to move away from home. Somebody is moving away. Somebody is probably deciding to move. They are, you know, you keep it. I don't want it. All I want is peace. All I want is peace and harmony. So I feel like somebody is deciding very quickly to move away from the, the 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 home that's a home or the stability or the security and head I want peace keep your keep your money keep keep it I don't I want peace so somebody is making a decision to uh, move very quickly move fast I think we have very fast movement I think it could be a very sudden decision to just you know what <laughs> I'd rather have peace I'd rather have harmony I would than fight than to have these conflicts I'm just I'm going I'm going so that's what it looks like to me. Let's get some more cards here. I'm trying to make these a little bit quicker. So your approach is let go. Let go of the past. There's no compromising with this person. Yeah, you know, there's memories there. There is memories there, but there's no coming together. Uh, you can't heal this relationship any further. There's nothing you can do. You can't make this person change. You can't change the past. You can't change the past. I understand that there is regrets, and I understand that, you know, you probably want to heal the situation, and I think that you've probably thought about it a lot, a real, 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 real lot, but it takes two to tango. This isn't all your fault. It's not all your fault, so you don't worry about it, okay? We all make mistakes. I think that you have become a lot wiser. I think that you've been con became consciously aware of the poor decisions, and I think that you're in a much better place, and I think that you're headed to a much better place. I think that you are planning for a brighter future. I think that you're doing the right thing, okay? Um, right now, I think that you know that you know that it's time that it's time to maybe you need to ask for help maybe it's it's time to let go of the victim mentality i think it's time for you to face your insecurities i think that you know that it's time to face your insecurities you know i think that maybe it's time for closure maybe it's time for you to step over that finish line i feel as though you may not get the closure that you wanted but you know that there's another route. I think that you know that. I think that you may be feeling a little empty and lost. You, and lost. you may be feeling a little incomplete, but you've learned a lesson. You have learned a lesson. I know that you have. Um, we're just going to put this right over here. Um... Hmm. right now you're afraid right now you are right now you're fearful right now you are afraid to um step out step, step outside of your comfort zone i think that you have absolutely been trapped you've been trapped in a space of mental turmoil you've been really really overthinking you've been overwhelmed with your with thoughts and fears and and um i think regret I think there's a lot of regret here. I think there's a lot of uh, fear for sure. Um, I think that for a while you've been in denial. I mean, she's got the blindfold on twice, not trying to avoid the truth. Maybe you've been trying to avoid the completion and avoid the end. That's a completion. You Maybe you've been trying to avoid letting this go. Protection, protecting yourself for some reason, maybe trying to protect other people involved. I feel as though, you know, right now you're reevaluating, you're reevaluating all the decisions that you have made, you're reevaluating the conflict, you're reevaluating the lies that have been told. I feel as though you, everything is just, it's just a constant, you know, why, what, how, you know, a lot of thought going on here. And I think that you're overwhelmed in your thoughts, you're overwhelmed with what has happened and why, and with a lot of regret here. But I feel as though you are you are really disappointed. You, I see a lot of disappointed, 
disappointed here, disappointed with how things turned out. But it's time to just drop this. It's time to take the blindfold off. It's time to step outside of your comfort zone. And what else? <laughs> Cut out. Cut out anything that doesn't serve you. You know, be honest with yourself. Uh, maybe you need to block people that don't serve you. I don't know. Um, there's some, somebody here has been dealing, be, maybe you're even being dishonest with yourself. Maybe you're, you're hurting yourself for no reason. You know, maybe you need to take your power back. Stop communicating with people and you may shut down. You may shut down all communication. You may just decide that it's it's time to stop right now. I think that you were hoping for the truth from people. You were hoping for somebody to be honest with you. And you, and you were just waiting for them to come clean. And now you probably realize that they're never going to. <laughs> You're dealing with a liar. You have been dealing with somebody who has really kept you <sighs> stuck. I mean, you're really dealing with a person that has caused you a lot of mental turmoil in your life. And I think that you're really thinking about cutting them out once and for all for good. The overall outcome is making that cut. Walking away. But I think the overall outcome is, you know, you probably be being... Or cutting somebody out very harshly. I feel as though, you know, right now there's some resent. There's some bitterness. There's some anger. anger there's some... Need to... Definitely retreat. I think that you are going to be retreating. I mean, you think about it, This is basically... This could be the hermit in reverse or the Hierophant in reverse or um, the devil in reverse you know what I mean it's the king of pentacles in reverse it's, it's like I'm going to take back control I'm going to retreat I'm going to go within I'm going to do what I need to do for me I'm going to take back my power even if it hurts I think that you're you're probably going to retreat and decide to go in a new direction. You're gonna you're headed out. Looks like you're 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 starting over. I think that you are going to make a cut and you're gonna decide to go your own way. I think that you're gonna take a leap of faith and you are gonna drop this that, that baggage. I think that whoever you're dealing with is gonna get cut out probably harshly. They're gonna see it as harshly. They are. But I think what's happening here is that you're doing what you need to do for you. I think that you are about to become free. You're gonna break free. This is freedom. And this is freedom, too. You think about, I mean, the king of pentacles. If you think about the devil reverse, that's freedom. So I really feel like you are about to break free from something. From somebody that's really bitter. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, a Tor uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think that you are about to break free from a bitter individual who has held you back. Seriously. So I see freedom here. I see you guys breaking free. Starting over. Starting from scratch. I see you guys dropping a burden. Once and for all. Not taking it with me. You think about the fool. The fool only takes what he can fit in his bag. I'm not taking you with me on this next cycle. On this new journey. So I feel like you guys are really making a cut. You are moving on. You take your money, you take whatever we had, whatever, keep it. I don't want it, goodbye, I want peace, and that's all I want. So I feel like you guys are starting from scratch, you're starting at zero, you're making a cut, and probably because you are being divinely guided to do so, and I don't think you're going to get the closure that you wanted.
we are going to get an oracle card one of these you guys are making a decision and I think it's going to be a sudden decision a hasty decision to just move on it's just you know what I am breaking this bond I am breaking free I'm taking back my power I'm not going to be bound to your manipulative ways that's what I see I think that you guys are, are breaking free we're going to get one of these for Aries. What do we got for Aries for the week ahead for advice? Starting over, starting fresh, starting from scratch, dropping the baggage, letting go of the burden that has been so heavy, stepping outside of your comfort zone, taking back your power, listening to your inner guide, listening to your, you know, intuition, and probably deciding I'm not going to be a victim here. I understand I'm not going to get the closure. I may not get the forgiveness that I need. You know, or they may not forgive me, but I have to do what's right for me because I am consciously aware. I do know that I have to let go of these this past. I do. I think that that's what this is. Um, imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I think that you know, and this is, you know, swords are you know. They're thoughts. I think that you have been in a very negative place. And you know that it's time to drop it all. It's time to move on. It's time to bring peace back to your life. And the only way to do that is to make this most difficult cut, cut with this tricky, cunning, crafty manipulator. I understand you've made poor decisions. It's over. You're starting over. Congratulations. That's what I got, Aries. Talk to you next time.